segment to the BTS vlogs. Um, yeah, for up. Uh, that are part of Big Bang Theory RL. It is four hours and sixteen minutes into the day of Monday, March seventh, two thousand sixteen. Uh, it's not that I'm getting up now. I'm not. I'm actually. <laughs> That's why I'm here. Here I'm here at the research desk. I'm not at the, getting out, out of my bed. That's because around two two thirty I woke up, uh, had some thoughts as I woke up, and came to the research desk. And I've been doing research here ever since, about two and a half hours, uh, just going through things. So uh, and this is the, this is sort of the way things go. Just like I, I, on, 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 I think Thursday, Friday, I spent till five o'clock in the morning wrapping up some research. I'm doing more research again here, looking for. And it is the way the research works is that you you watch a source or you read a source, you take your notes, then you go on to the next source. And what happens is the information you get is not necessarily what what, what your what your what your notes are. You're looking for the discrepancies within what you saw between the two different sources. Uh, so sometimes it is you want to want to get an idea of how somebody's uh, perceiving something. You go to two or three different sources on the same subject. You read through it, or you view a video on it. Right, there's a documentary on it, or there's a news broadcast on it, and you take your notes. Then after you take your notes, you go to the next source. You take the notes there, third to fourth source, or however many sources you have. You can continue taking your notes. You do not go back to your original notes and say, okay, copy from here to here to here. You take your notes purely as they are, putting the other notes somewhat out of mind because you don't want the other notes to sort of influence what you're seeing. In other words, you don't want, we don't want prejudices or bias from the other notes to come into what you're seeing. You want to look for the differences in the reports, in the sources, this will give you an idea of where things are actually, where, where they're going, where they're developing, what, what's going on, uh, and allows you to sort of decode information that you, you would not normally understand if you didn't do sort of the, sort of the assembly work to put together to put together the she doesn't look out here and see a bunch of individual flint lives. She sees sure. individual <clears throat> results. And unfortunately, that's all she cares about. To see about. the entire picture, well, that resident was referred the picture to is actually a, like a puzzle. It's, it's separated in tiny pieces of a puzzle. You have to go find these pieces of the puzzle. And the pieces of the puzzle are often found in the differences between different views on different sides. And that way, you can get a, a, a much better picture of what's actually happening. And then make your own conclusions from there. Or, or based on uh, your observations. In, 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 in other words, your observations, uh, and your, your conclusions are not based on your uh, ideas, but they're based uh, on you know, what you've seen, on your observations the of the situation the from the uh, number of points points. of uh, the, the Democrat party as a whole, not the event or the whatever you're looking at. You want to find a number of different uh, points of view. Uh, These different points of view, when they add them together, form the whole you provide they provide your observation and this is where you draw your conclusions from and this is sort of the situation here it, these things come in the middle of the night it comes during the day uh, at any hour uh, Sunday was no exception Sunday I, I, I was just sort of milling around just looking at my notes 
going over some of my notes, rethinking about things. Uh, I also went out to dinner with my parents uh, uh, the, uh, uh, around uh, 7, 7.30, and out to a nice little Chinese restaurant uh, called uh, the Man Mandarin. All you can eat. Uh, I'm in an Asian neighborhood here, so it's in my neighborhood. So it's a it's it's a good it's it's not an American style Asian restaurant or Chinese restaurant, but more of a Chinese style all you can eat because it caters primarily to the Asian uh, neighborhood. So it, it it does have a lot of good uh, and different type of food that you would normally that you would not normally find at your standard Asian buffet. buffet. Uh, had oh. the pledge, uh, delegates so the I got back late. In the last in 08. Um, did some um, um, of my new diet. Well, not really a new diet, but um, I decided that uh, after every meal that I will hydra hydrate, uh, usually between one and two liters of water, depending on how thirsty I am. It helps the food digest better. I don't that when you have water, about 15 minutes to a half hour after you've eaten and consume whatever liquids you've consumed there during the meal there a half hour to to an hour later if you do hydration between 500 milliliters to to, to two liters uh, depending on uh, how much you can handle and this is not all at once but, but over a period of maybe a half hour you'll have that and it really does help with the digestion. So, uh, <laughs> we'll see what happens. I should be going back to bed in about an hour or so. Uh, but what, it, what, what, when that happens, I'm not, I'm not really too sure when that's going to actually happen. But uh, uh, we'll deal with it then. <laughs> All right, take it easy. And I'll see you in the next segment of the BTS vlogs on big part of the, that are part of uh, Big Bang Theory or uh, Well, hello everybody. Yeah. Uh, it's time for the next segment of uh, B, uh, Big Bang Theory or uh, BTS vlog. Oh, I'm just getting up. It's just about 2 o'clock in the afternoon, so I'll give you a time and date stamp to give you a better time of reference. So, uh, it is 14 hours and 2 minutes into the date of Monday, March 7th, 2016. And... I went to bed. I, didn't, I ended up getting up in the middle of the night after uh, thinking of some stuff while I was sleeping. Uh, I didn't get back to bed till 5.36. I vlogged, which was good. I vlogged in the middle of the night. <laughs> and uh, now it's uh, 2 o'clock in the afternoon. I've been sort of lying in bed since about this sort of thinking about things, doing something called brainstorming, where you think of how to write things. How to present I've been sort of just lying in bed till from about eleven o'clock. So uh, from five, let's say six o'clock till eleven. That's five hours. So I got five hours worth of sleep, and now I'm finally getting up uh, to put some of the stuff I was thinking about uh, into action. So in other words, going to start putting things together and working on these various different ideas. So. Uh, <laughs> That's where we are now. Uh, I'm starting a, another part of my day. It looks like what, what's going to happen now is when I get into this type of sleep pattern, my day is broken up. It's not a straight eight hours worth of sleep, but it's it's, it's four, or five, four or five hours here. Uh, I don't know how long I'll be up now. Uh, see, it's 2 o'clock now. I could be up until 2 o'clock in the morning. That would be 2 a.m., right? That would be another 12 hours. So it'll be five hours and twelve hours. That will be uh, a sort of a seventeen-hour day. It, it 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 really depends on how my body feels, how far I can push myself, and uh, the amount of work, particularly the immediate work that has to get done, how much of it there is to do. Uh, that will determine my sleeping schedule. That will determine when I can go to bed, and uh, you know, or or how far I should push myself. In terms of fatigue and so on and so forth. Uh, 
And the thing is, is that the, what I mentioned now is I'm watching, as I sit down uh, and do my work, I also watch the uh, TV here. My TV is is uh, is not cable. Uh, I'm working on something called Open IP TV. This is uh, typically based off of YouTube. Put it uh, looking at looking at channels uh, on YouTube just the way you would look at choosing your TV shows and organizing it like that. And one of the shows that I like a lot is called Bertaley. And I'll be answering a uh, question that she asked in one of her videos uh, about time and who started measuring time. So I'll be talking about the calendar and so on and so forth uh, in an upcoming uh, segment. Uh, the segment is going to be separate and in the uh, and in uh, the BTS vlog. So there will be a second portion that will be part of the answer to uh, Annie from Bertaley. And then there will be, I'll take that same segment and I'll put it into the, 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 the uh, um, Big Bang Theory or BTS vlog as well. So you can see it outside and you can see it inside because it is part, an integral part of the uh, of the show. But I don't want to have her sort of sitting there for, uh, you know, uh, a half hour waiting for that segment. And however long that segment is going to be, uh, the show to show up. So uh, I'm going to put it up as a separate uh clip first and then it will come into um, uh, the BT, the uh, the BTS vlogs BTS vlog afterwards so we are anyways we are behind we are a couple days we are behind on our uploads we should correct that over over the week we should get up to speed and that way uh, that, I, cause I, I corrected all the problems on the uh, editing desk I've got the problems more or less sol solved uh, I've got a good pace going and I was able to clear the backlog, so now we have uh, room for new stuff to move in, and I can now upload while I'm editing, because they've got a, a, a second system that will handle the uploading and all the sort of the details. So uh, one system just does the rendering, one system does sort of the detailing of the editing, sort of the cutting and the, the bits and pieces, deciding what what your clips are going to be, and a third system does the uploads, and that balances out the uh the, the the workload enough that i can always be productive i don't have to be sort of sitting there waiting for a computer to finish its job before i move on to the next task so anyways um uh, i'm gonna leave that here for now uh i will see you in the next segment of the big bang crl bts vlogs bts vlog i gotta work on this ending <laughs> all right take it easy Well, it's not actually morning. It's about uh, 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, and that's because uh, I didn't finish uh, uh, doing my work. It was uh, sourcing some more. I found some more sources. Oh, sorry found another gold mine of, of information. I had to dig through it. By the time I finished, it was like 6, 6.30 in the morning. And that's when I finally ended up going to bed. And so now it's... Uh, I'm just now getting up, sort of. <laughs> um, it is... Because time and date stamp. It is... 13 hours and 52 minutes into the day of two, Tuesday, uh, March 8th, 2016. Yeah. I noticed I was watching some of my uh, videos to, p to put them up. Uh, the f first week is pretty much as I expected it to go. Uh, there are a number of mistakes in there, including uh, uh, the, uh, the editor didn't show up, but was there. Uh, there was an extra ending. So, it didn't matter whether it was short or long. The, uh, you know, usually usually the vlog is between 20 and 30 minutes. That's the, sort of the range there. Uh, and uh, what I noticed is that uh, at the end, there was two endings. And I realized when I look at, went back to look at the, at the editor that there was 
uh, an extra clip, and then uh, uh, the 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 somehow the the ending clip got put in there twice. And so this is the, 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 these are mistakes that are going on. I noticed that, that when I'm talking, uh, particularly in the beginning, uh, I get my days mixed up. <laughs> and that may sound bizarre. That, hey, this is guy again. He's getting his days mixed up. How does he not know what day it is? Well, if you're going to bed at six o'clock in the morning, and you put in a twenty-hour day. And you get up again a few hours later. So you're supposed to be going to bed one night and getting up in the morning, right? That's the standard thing. You get up in the... You go to bed at night. It's, let's say, Tuesday. You get up in the morning. It's Wednesday. Uh, but that doesn't happen. If you if you if you if you're, if your sleeping clock, if, when you sleep, shifts a lot, the sense of night and day disappears. So does your sense of time. And that's sort of what's going on here, is that my sense of time disappears. And that does, in many cases, present a problem. But uh, as long as I've got clocks, or clocks around and calendars, I can sort of make do with the, with the situation as it is. So that's kind of what's going on here. Uh, anyways... It, 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 a lot of the work I've been doing now that that's been really sort of been really heavy. It goes into a, vari a variety of different tangents, but it has to do with, do with the um, observa observational psychology of uh, of uh, journalism or what what's going on in the world. That's for INN, the uh, uh, Internet News Network, the news channel that I have. Uh, I'm still working on that ten fifty minute program. A lot of times, as you get, you really you have to have a good grasp. Of what's going on, and sometimes you need to go out and do more research than you uh, than you initially thought you would, because you want to get a better a better picture. Because the more pieces of the puzzle you have, the better picture you have. Uh, and this was sort of what happened last night. I put together, uh, I got enough extra pieces that I've got a very good image of what's going on now and how to start presenting. Uh, what's going on in the world. If we want to create a better world, if we want to have a, a, a better life to live, uh, not everybody's right out there. Everybody has their own ideas how things get done, but not everybody is right. And the thing is, this is going to be the examination of well, how do you create a better world? You know, if, if we are in the world, we make our world the way it is, uh, we uh, we have our free will, we ha we can make our world, our world bad, we can make it good, we can make it destructive, we can do Ugh. anything we want with it, more or less. So far, we've been te teetering back and forth on the brink of destruction. There are times when we destroy ourselves, and that's during periods of a lot of war. And then there's times when we build ourselves up. So the thing is, the question is, how do you move forward? How do you uh, begin to make sense of everything that's going on? And is there a way to find sort of through observation where the uh, where the errors line up more often than not and if we can sort of find where the errors line up uh, then we can say okay these areas here have to be stayed away from this is where we shouldn't be going and then also the same thing the observation we'll, we could see through observation where the areas that are good are where, what, what benefits society what pushes us forward and so, so what, this is kind of the information I was putting together. You find the good ends, you find the bad ends, you find the good areas, you find the bad areas, and you can put together a good observational uh, understanding of how the world is actually working, how it's actually functioning. And that's what I was able to complete last night, or actually this morning, last night into, in, into this morning. Uh, I was able to find enough sources that I could start putting together a good... Uh, uh, a good library that would represent what's actually happening, so I could put together a good uh, sort of a social engineering line that goes out to the development of technology, out to the de development of uh, psycho psychological problems, the evolution of psychological problems, uh, how psycho pro psychological problems manifest itself in uh, groups, like in, like in society, uh, and how these different dynamics 
once understood, you can now start to begin to say, okay, well, what mechanisms are available that we have, what options do we have that are available to start making a better difference, to start changing the negative aspects of what's going on and m move more towards a beneficial aspect uh, of, uh, of society. And that's sort of, uh, I know this, a lot of people have done this. It's not just myself that's done this. Uh, but I think now with the internet, we have an option to do things we've really never, have never done before because we have, a, the, the internet become, becomes, in many ways, an observational tool where we get to see other people, we get to see other people, how, how they think, what, what they think, um, what their views and opinions, how they behave. And from this, we can start, okay, okay I need to do this, this, and this, right? put it together a, a sort of a, a, an algorithm of what needs to be done to begin correcting problems within society. And I think the problems aren't simply my opinion of what, 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 the problems are. It, it, it's the observation of problems. Like what creates drug addiction? You know, look, you, you, we see that people, drug addicts often end up on the street. They have bad life. They get very they get very sick. Right. So the big thing is they get very sick. Uh, is there something we can do to alleviate this? Is there something that we, we can sort of work our way around it? Uh, it's also been pointed out that the CIA has been experimenting with a uh, a lot of different diseases. I'll be point, pointing this out. They've been experimenting with a lot of different diseases and infecting the population. Well, the thing is, now we have a lot of different diseases that are out there. Uh, and the question is, is not, 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 oh, people are going to die, but how do you stop people from dying? How do you deal with the reality that, of, of the situation that's going on now? And these are sort of the things that are going to be looked at. Uh, they'll be introduced in the TweetLine Plus and then from there on up, they'll be expanded on into headlines and beyond. And then I'll also be producing background and supporting documentaries, uh, which will be about two hours in length. So basically, we go from 10 to 15 minutes uh, from Tweetland Plus to uh, headlines and beyond, which is a more organized thought and note. Uh, and then finally, to, to documentary styles, to documentaries, which are about two hours, two hours, maybe two, uh, two hour plus uh, things, uh, chunks of time. And then they're basically they're basically like 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 lectures. They're like uh, uh, they're like a, a sort of a university lecture, a a paper, if you will, and so they can be viewed as something more significant than simply than simply a entertaining documentary. Like a lot of uh, called docutainment, where the documentary becomes your form of entertainment, sort of thing. And even when they make these sort of docu docu uh, docutainment uh, films. Uh, not everything in there is true. They sort of uh, dramatize things, and uh, that creates a problem because now you're seeing a perception of what's going on, not the actual reality. So, anyways, I'm gonna leave this here for now, and I will see you in the next segment of the BTS vlogs. All right, take it easy. Democratic Earth. Earth.